G'day guys, how we going? So, over the last few days I've had a few people asking me how I install my mods. And, well, the easiest way is to make a video and show you exactly how I install my mods. Step one is go to winzip.com or Google Winzip. Just get Winzip and install it and then restart the computer. Because Winzip's got some integrated things with Windows that we'll come across later on. Um, so, yeah. Restart the computer and come back, and we'll go from there. Okay, hopefully you guys have restarted the computer and come back. <laughs> um, right, now, you've got WinZip all installed. First things first is go to your download site. I like um, Mr. Fuzzy's site here. He's uh, always got something interesting up. And uh, you can see there he's got... World of Tanks mods and World of Warships mods because this run through that I'm doing here can pretty much be used for both. It's the same process for both tanks and warships. Um, if you don't want to go to a specific website, there is always the forums that you can go to and check out. You know, there's there's heaps of stuff. Uh, last I looked, there was oh, orc flags. Cool. Um, last I looked, there was My Little Pony stuff. So. Yeah, the cloppers have even gotten in on it. <laughs> right, um, because there is, well, many ways of doing this. This is just the way I do it. Um, I like to get the uh, the mod pack. There is Aslan's installer where you just download an EXE file and um, select from a list. Uh, personally, I like getting the uh, the files myself and doing the the copy and paste because that's what we always used to do. <laughs> We never had no EXE files back in the day. Um, and here we've got a list of everything that you get in Mr. EC Fuzzies. You get all your your numbers and two-stage garage by the look of that. We've got a garage out in the middle of... Looks like the back of one of the maps. Yeah. Um, white dead tanks. I'm not sure if that's still in there, but at least it's in the picture. Right, so you can get... Um, well, that's the XVM thing by the look of it. So we want to download XVM, and that'll put the little, well it's a RAR file, either way, window, uh, Winzip will pick it up. And we've got the the girls, you got to have the girls. Uh, let's go with version 9.9. .9. Don't worry if it's, uh, some mods from 9.9 .9 will travel over to um, 10. Uh, depending on the mod. Uh, generally your in-hanger mods, uh, sorry, your most in hangar mods will copy over pretty easily. Um, and while we're at it, let's get a let's get a, a, a warships mod. We'll do we'll do two in one. And might as well go for the top one. <laughs> and yep, we'll download that zip file. Hopefully, preparing download downloading. And we've got we've got zip files coming down. All right, so we've got the crew. We've got that one. This one must have been the one we needed to get. So let's download that file, and we'll have that one coming through very shortly. Two minutes, one minute. Okay. While that one's downloading, let's open up a file manager. Um, crud, I can't. It's off screen. Hang on, I will. I will just close it and reopen. There we go. I fixed it. And we'll make that a bit bigger. Okay. Now you want to go to your game folder. Most people's game folder will be on their C drive. Let's get this something. Yeah. Most people will be on your C drive. Mine is on my D drive. Just the way I do things. Um, the way it normally installs, it'll be C Drive, Games, World of Tanks, um, mine is D Drive, Games, what? You want to open that and open up your, your Res Mods folder, because that's where these mods will be going to. And also, go to your downloads. Um, I can see here that all of my downloads have finished. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy over. I'm going to copy over the tank ones. So we will cut them from there, and go back to 
my games folder, my World of Tanks, and my Res mods, and I will paste those in there. While that one's going through, we'll go back to the downloads and we'll grab the World of Warships one, and we'll go to World of Warships, which is also going to be under C Drive Games World of Warships. Mine's under D Drive. I have a, a bigger D Drive. And again, you will find the Res Mods folder. This folder here, you want to open up and it's easy enough just to paste that in there for now. Now, what you want to do, as I said before, WinZip has got some integration. Click on the file, or just, you know, single click, select the file, and right click. Right click bringing that window up, and then you want to just go to Extractor here, which is easy enough most times, and then you'll get a ResMods folder. I normally go in and go, right, you know, this is the, the particular version that I want to get, so I'm going to cut that from there and paste it into here and there's obviously been an update well there's obviously been there is an update it's downloading for me at the moment so when this game is updated for me I will have my mods up and running and ready to go which I will be quite happy about now if we go back to the world of tanks folder do the same process again. Ah, the other one copied over. As I said, and do the same process again. Just click on that and go extract to here. Um, don't do the thing that some people do, and that's select both of them and think, oh, I'll just hit extract to here and it'll do both of them. No, it'll do one of them, but not both of them. Uh, I've done that a few times before myself. It's not fun. You, know, you install it all, you get into the game, you go, ah, oh, that mod's not installed. Where'd that mod go? And, yeah, if you, if you have an untidy file, it does get quite confusing. So those two will be... Here we go. We've got a couple of little counters here. Counting down. And we've got the new res mods folder. I don't know, we've got a 9... I don't know why we got 9.9. 9.9 won't be any good to us because we're on 9.10 now. And yep, everything should be installing as per normal. We've got XVM in there, packages and resources. Right, so when this finishes going through, that one's almost done. There we go. That one's about halfway through. When that finishes, you can quite easily just um, cut that folder and go back into the game folder here. If you right, well, hang on, we'll do a bit of a cut and wait. All right, now that that's just about finished, as I was saying, um, you can go into this res mods folder and just right click and cut it, and it will. There we go. We can right click and cut, then go back into the game folder and right click somewhere out here make sure none of the other things are selected and just hit paste it will paste it straight in for you if it comes up with do you want to override generally say yes because um, most of the time there is these little readme files or um, what's the other one that normally comes through there's a there's another little file and it's just a signature from the mod maker or um, the file that's uh, one of these little files down here somewhere. Um, that just tells the, the game to look in the res mods folder rather than looking in the res folder because that's pretty much the same. You know, you got your GUI and your scripts and everything there. So, yeah. Um, and that file just gets overwritten multiple times so generally speaking if it asks you do you are you sure you wish to override yeah but if you're not too sure just go in and make a copy of your reds mods folder and go chuck it somewhere safe like um where are <laughs> no, just any any random any random folder and you'll be able to 
keep a copy of your old one. So if your new one's not so good, you can always go back to your old one. Okay, guys, um, now I'm starting to ramble, so I may as well jump off. Hopefully this enlightened you some. If it did, you know, share it with your friends, because, you know, everyone deserves a, a pretty picture, and you never know. They might like My Little Pony too. <laughs> I don't know why anyone would. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and catch you next time.